Hey, this is Eb Fargus here, and I wanted to do an updated video on how to rebuild MAME and FBA ROMs for RetroPie. I've updated the wiki page on the GitHub account, and I'll provide a link in the description below to this. And I'll just be walking through it uh, quickly and simply to help you understand how to rebuild your MAME ROMs. Because uh, I know it can be pretty frustrating to try and figure out how to work where you get your, your ROMs all set up and transfer to RetroPie, and you go to play it, and then it just turns black and goes right back to the main screen. And typically, more often than not, it is because it's a different ROM set that's not compatible with the emulator you're trying to use, rather than the emulator being broken. So these are all the emulators set up with RetroPie, and these are the different versions of ROM sets that are compatible with that emulator. And so there's a program called ClearMain Pro, which allows you to rebuild the version of ROM set that you get, which are typically newer ones that are available, like 0.151, 0.165, whatever it is. Um, and it will help you rebuild those newer sets to be compatible with the older versions of uh, MAME emulators. And so there's uh, links to each stat file here on the side, as well as compatibility lists that you can add to, to show which ones do work and which ones don't uh, after you've rebuilt your ROMs. And then this is a link to all of the DAT files, and I'll walk you through this um, really quickly. So first, we need to download ClearMAME Pro to uh, our Windows, and unfortunately it only works on Windows for now, so uh, for Linux and Mac users, sorry about that. So you go into ClearMain Pro, and then you can download it either through an executable or a zip file. I prefer to use a zip file, and so I use the 64-bit zip file. And then in my C drive, I create a ClearMain Pro folder first, and you might need admin privileges to do this. And then you'll uh, take your zip file, put it in this folder, and then extract it here. And then you'll eventually want to open this file, but we need to do a few other things to set up a working space first. So now that you've got that all working, then you can get the DAT file set that I maintain on my repo. And you can also find the link down here, um, right here. So also provide a link to that in the description below. And then once you download that zip file, again, you're going to move it to the C folder and then just extract it here. And it will end up being a RetroPie dat master file. And then inside, you've got a folder for each emulator that RetroPie has. And within each folder, you've got dat files, which are the database files that ClearMain Pro needs to tell it which version of um, ROMs you need to be rebuilt to. And then within each one, you've got multiple versions. So this one has uh, a full merge set which allows you to build different types of sets, which I'll explain while we're rebuilding. And then this is just the regular set. And then there's also some that are just parents only where they only have, uh, no, they remove all the clones and uh, some extra stuff and only leave the parents. So you can have cleaner sets that way. But again, you can do that through merge sets as well, which I'll explain. So once you've got all of this stuff set up, you'll want to create a ROMs folder uh, for where you want your rebuilds ROMs to be. And so I'll do it. Typically, I prefer to do it for each system. So if I'm rebuilding ROMs for MAME for All, I'll create a folder called MAME for All ROMs. And this is where my final uh, ROMs will be. So uh, after I've done rebuilding them. So uh, we'll do that. And that's great. That's, uh, I think, all that we need to do in order to set it up. And then, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you've got uh, ROMs as well. So I've got a small ROM set right here in my MAME ROMs folder. And you'll, you'll get best results if you use a full set to rebuild from. Um, so we're going to open up ClearMain Pro. And it'll open up the profile. So I'm so, sorry, it'll open up into the profile page. There might be some pop-ups you'll have to go through, which is you know fine. It'll eventually end up like this. If it doesn't go into the profile, it'll open up into this menu here. You'll just select the profiler. And then the first thing we will want to do is to add the proper date file, the dat file for the emulator we're using. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be rebuilding the main for all ROMs. So we add the dat file and again, local disk C, the RetroPie dat master file, and then main for all. And again, you can do this for whichever system you prefer. And then I'm going to choose uh, the top dat file, the largest one. And I'll explain why I chose this one in a little bit. So click open, OK, and then click the uh, thing we just selected and click load and update. And then you choose default, OK to all. And by the way, uh, you may 
want to make a backup of the ROMs you're rebuilding from, uh, just in case, I mean, with this tutorial, you shouldn't be overriding anything and it should automatically make, make a backup. But just in case, it's always good to have a backup in case something weird happens. Um, okay, so now that we've got a profile built and set up, then you're going to want to rebuild your ROMs. So actually, first, we want to actually tell it where to rebuild them to. So we're going to the settings and then we're going to set the ROM path that we want them to be rebuilt to. So we add, and this is where the folder we created comes in. We go into our C drive, retromind.master, and then the main for all ROMs. So you select that folder and then click OK, and then you can just exit out. And then you want to go into the rebuilder, and you can see our ROMs folder where we want it to be is on the right here. And then on the left here, the source, this is where we need to pull our ROMs. This is the ROM set we're trying to rebuild. So uh, I've got my uh, local C, C drive and then our main ROMs. And again, preferably you do it with a full set. And then this part is important to understand with merge options. Uh, some DAT files, if you have the right DAT files, it will uh, give you the options. Uh, and if the DAT file doesn't have merged data in it, it will be grayed out and only give you one option, and which is fine too. But uh, for the ones that do have merged data, the three options uh, will rebuild your ROMs in different ways. So the default is split sets where the parent ROM sets or the parent ROMs are in their own uh, folders and then your clones are also in their own folders and they're split separately. And that's uh, typically the default but if you want to clean up your ROM sets and have it be a little uh, easier to manage, you can build a uh, non-merge set or merge sets. And the difference between the two is the non-merge sets allows, it basically copies all of the parent files needed for a clone to run into the clone's ROM set folder. So let's say you want to only have a certain clone for a game. Well, typically you'll need, if you have a split set, you'll need that parent's, the parent ROM as well as the clone in order to run the clone. Whereas with the non-merge set, it basically copies that parent needed in the clone set so you can delete the, the parent on its own and just leave the clone uh, and it should run still. And so it's probably the most memory usage. It'll use the most memory because you're copying multiple files. Uh, but if you've got the space, then that's an easy way to manage your set. Uh, and then if you're only wanting parent ROMs uh, to clean up your ROM set, uh, the cleanest way and simplest way is probably to do merge sets where basically it will take all of the uh, clones and merge them into the parent sets. So all you have is parents essentially. And again, it's not the most memory efficient. Ideally, you should be using DAT files that are parents only. And, and that way you only get the parents and it doesn't merge clone data, but it may not work as well with all of your sets. So. Um, typically, I prefer to use merge sets. It's the cleanest for me. I mean, maybe it's not the most memory efficient, but I've got 64 gigabyte micro SD cards, so I've got space to spare. Um, and so once you've chosen your merge option, uh, then you'll rebuild it. And again, since I'm doing a merge instead of a split set, the scanner doesn't know what to do. So you have to change the mode in the scanner as well. Um, but that's not super important for me because I know uh, what ROMs I'm getting, but in the end, if you want to scan them, then that's also important to note. So I can just say yes, and it kind of tells me what happened, and then I click OK, and I can exit out of that. And again, you can scan after the fact, so you can switch it to merge sets in this case, and then do a new scan, and it will tell you how much you're missing. And I don't think you'll ever get a perfect set, but you can get most of what you need for it. Um, it could be a bit finicky, but it should give you the bulk of of things that will work. Um, so just to show you uh, what happened uh, in a retropy.master file and the main for all ROMs, these are the ROMs that we re were rebuilt. And then you can see um, here, these are the original ROMs I started with. So since I built a merge set, the 1941 Japanese clone was merged in with 1941. And so my set is much cleaner. And, but you can see it's still the same file, file size as the 1941 and 1941 Japan, so it's 1580 kilobytes. And again, if we look back to the original ROMs, 
it was originally 1386, but the clone was 195, so you add them together and you get essentially 1580. So um, as you can see, that it does add in increase the size. But that's the basics of it. And then if you want to do another set for another ROM set um, or another system, you just open up the profiler, you add another DAT file. So let's say we want to do Libretto main 2003, which I think is the default for the newest system or for this, the newer versions of RetroPy. It does run a little better, I think. Double click on that, pick your DAT file, then click OK. And then you'll select the new DAT file, go into MAME, and then load update this. Now we'll go through and load all that. OK to all, OK to all. Good. And then you just run through the same thing all over again. And then eventually you'll have all the ROM sets over. You copy them back over to RetroPie, and you should be good to go and ready up in gaming. And again, it won't be perfect. There's going to be problems here and there, and some ROMs just never worked in the first place. Um, so that's just kind of what you have to deal with. But at least they'll get most of what you need there. So hopefully that was useful to you, and hopefully it was informative, and hopefully that will relieve some of the headache you've had to trying to figure out how to get this thing working. Because I can know I know it can be a bit frustrating, but. Uh, enjoy your retro gaming. Have fun.